Sergeant Ralph Daniels is in charge of making sure serious bullying will not escalate into something more. We have officers assigned as, as school resource officers and part of our job is working with the school administration um, to deal with the bullying situations. Depending on the severity of the bullying, citations are made in order to help take care of future issues. And those citations are sometimes held and we do what's called an officer diversion. And so if the kid can make it through the rest of the school year with no more troubles, um, then those citations can be dismissed. After citations are issued, the officers monitor the student environment to make sure it gets better. The ramifications are hopefully small, we can, we can solve it, or they become a big issue and the kids you know, end up in front of the judge, maybe end up on probation, um, and hopefully provide them services and help them with things that they have in their lives to improve their life so that they don't feel like they have to pick on other people. Whether your child is the victim or the bully, police say it's important for parents to have an open dialogue with their kids especially if you notice a change in their behavior. If your child's the one being the bully, then you need to be willing to stand up and, and help us um, enforce some rules on them, help us and the school district you know, enact some steps that will help stop that behavior. Sergeant Daniels mentions if you are someone in a cyberbullying situation, then be willing to step away from the internet for a while. Learn to block the bully from your social media connection. If you know someone that is in a bullying situation, be willing to stand up and help put a stop to the abuse. There are kids that are in the schools that are not afraid to come to the office and say, hey, I saw this going on. And so to those that are doing that, I just say, you know, keep up the good work. And to those that aren't so sure, you know, don't be afraid to step up and say something to somebody. In Pocatello, Daniel Kember, KPVI News 6.